Hi, this is a review of the SanDisk Sansa ClipZip. This is the 4 gigabyte model in blue, which I picked up last week at Best Buy for $34.99. A true bargain. The retail is $50. Right now on Amazon it's $37.40, but if you shop around, I'm sure you can find, find it for $35 someplace else. So, this player does everything I want it to do in a very small portable player. And, as you can see in the back right here, it's got a little clip. So you can clip it onto your clothes. So, it's fired up. So you can see the startup screen. A little animation on a 1.1 inch LCD. And it resumes playing where I left it off which is really a great feature. So, if you hit the little arrow to the left right here, it's a back button. You can go back to the main screen. So this is the main music folder. And so if I scroll to the left or right, I can see that there's a radio right there. And this is a folder for um, audiobooks. This is a folder for voice recordings. There's a built-in microphone so you can record voice recordings up to the capacity of the player. Uh, this player comes with 4 gigabytes of internal storage. You can add an additional 32 gigabytes with a micro SD card slot which is you can see in the side right here micro SD card slot. And you notice a flicker on the screen. That flicker is only there because of the camera there's no actual flicker on the player and so um, for about eleven dollars right now on Amazon you can buy a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that's what I'm gonna get so I'll have a 20 a total of 20 gigabytes for a uh, total investment of forty six dollars which is not bad still way cheaper than the iPod shuffle so <clears throat> let's go back to the uh, main screen right here so, this is the folder for the external card, which there isn't one in there right now. And uh, this is a timer, it's a sport, it's really just a timer. This is your main settings menu. So let's go back to the radio folder, right here, radio right here is not a folder, it's just setting. So one of the really great features of this player is something called RDS, Radio Data System. So it's built into the player, and as you can see right there, it says Come Together by the Beatles on 92.3 KGON. That's a great feature. I had a uh, SanDisk E280 prior to this, and it did not have RDS built in. So you can see the actual song title if the station supports RDS. So if you hit the, I've got a selection of stations in the presets. So I'm going to hit the center button, which is the select button. It'll go to the next preset. Let's go to this one right here, which I believe will show RDS as well. KYCH. Takes it a second to kick in the RDS. Then again, some stations just show the call letters. Yeah, there it goes. So, do you think I'm sexy by Rod Stewart? No, I don't think so. So there you go. 97.1 Charlie. So now there's a, if there's a commercial on, it'll just show you the call letters and it says K I N K true to the music. It doesn't show the actual song title because there's one playing right now. So let's go to now. Some public stations like this one don't have any RDS at all, so it doesn't even show any call letters. But then some public stations, this one is KQAC 89.9, it's a classical station. And it says all classical Portland. Doesn't actually show the song title, which is unfortunate. Because that would be really useful on a station like this. Mr. 
Here's another public station, 91.5 KOPB. Now you notice I do have headphones plugged into this, and that's because without headphones, the radio doesn't function at all. That's because it uses the headphone cable for an antenna. And it's very sensitive. I've walked around steel reinforced buildings and the radio still work perfectly. So it's an excellent FM tuner in here. Even better than the one that was in the E280, the Sandus E280 that I used to have. So let's go back to the settings menu. So we hit go to the settings menu, you can cha choose uh, system settings, music options, audiobook options, podcast options, radio options. So in system settings, you can do all kinds of different things. You can change the, you can choose whether or not you want to uh, album art on or off. You can choose the backlight, uh, how long it stays on, and uh, you can choose the brightness of the backlight right there. You put it on power saver, so it'll turn off the uh, the display after a certain period of time. Or actually, it'll, power saver is turning off the entire player after the, after that period of time. So it's got a sleep timer, so you can set it a certain number of minutes up to two hours, and then it'll shut the player down. And then the customize button is very useful because what it'll do is you can let's say you don't listen to audiobooks and I don't listen to audiobooks. So you hit that, turn that to off. Now if you go back to your main menu, you'll notice that it just doesn't show up anymore. I got voice, external card, sport, settings, music, and radio. So that folder is just hidden. So that's that's really nice. So that's basically the features of this player. Um, it plays MP3s, AAC unprotected, or DRM free that is, and AUG. Um, and for me the most important thing it plays is FLAC. So if you've got a really high quality audio file, let's do this right here. Let's go to music. So I'm going to go to Albums, and this is KT Tunsil, it's called Eye to the Telescope. This is a very high quality acoustic recording, so, which I can see that it's a flak recording, by hitting the, the bottom button right here is Options. So hit that button once, and then scroll down to Track Info. And if you scroll down here, you see Codec Flack. And we scroll down some more, 979 kilobytes per second. A CD is about 1411 kilobytes per second, so this is a reduction. Every every Flack recording is a little bit different in terms of how much reduction it is, but it's it's about 30-40% reduction in the size of a regular CD. And then I'm going to go back to the main menu here. And if you've got music that, that isn't acoustic or just, just, just isn't, isn't critical, you can play MP3s. So I'm going to play Craftwork the Mix right here. I'm not actually going to play anything here because of copyright. So I'm just showing you the album art. And so this one here, hit info on this one, hit track info, and you'll see that it says MP3. And it even shows you what kind of tags it has, ID3 version 2.3, 320 kilobytes per second. So all the data is here in track info. Now. When you want to go between the different uh, songs, you can either do 
you can do uh, albums, you can do artists, recently added, and this is a feature I really love is folders. So this shows you all the different folders that are on your player. So I'm going to go to music, and these are all the folders in my music, all the files in my music folder. So. Now this player su supports both MTP and MSC. So MSC stands for Mass Storage. And so it just shows up on your computer just like any other Mass Storage device, like a flash drive would. So you just drag and drop your, your folders into the player. Extremely easy to do. Once you put new folders in, it'll, it'll say a refreshing database. And in all the uh, album information, artist, song information, it'll all appear, just like it should. Now, if you want to use a, a, a software program like Windows Media Player to load your your files, then you use MTP. And way you change that is you go to your main menu here, go into Settings, go into System Settings, you can see there's a lot of different options. It says USB mode. So I've got to set an MSC because I just use it as a mass storage device. But like I say, if you want to use some other program like Windows Media Player, you select MTP. So very simple. And that's it for the player. Now since this will play really high quality music like FLAC files, you should get a really high quality set of headphones to go with it. Now uh, for around $30, you can get the Cost Porta Pros that I have right here. Extremely high quality audio from a small set of headphones. And what I really love about these headphones is you can fold them up and put them in your pocket. Just like that. So, for a small diaphragm like this has, these reproduce really good bass. That's kind of a mini review, no extra charge. So there it is, the Sandus Sansa Clip Zip. Thanks for watching.